All right, Eric, we are ready to work on the power source for this aircraft before it flies. Now let's talk about batteries. Let's talk about the importance of batteries. Here we have our transmitter, our transmitter, which is going to transmit a signal to the aircraft. And in it are alkaline batteries. Now alkaline batteries are corrosive if they get damaged. They corrode. They cause corrosive damage. But inside the aircraft, we're going to fly lithium polymer batteries. And lithium polymer batteries are not corrosive, they're explosive. So if this gets damaged, punctured, injured in any way, it could potentially light on fire. We're very, very careful with these batteries and we keep them in an ammunition box at all times um, for safety. Now, I'd like you to do me a favor. I'd like you to close your eyes, put your hands out, and I'm going to put something in your hands, and I'd like you to just feel what's in your hand. These are two batteries. Okay. Now, can you tell me which one's bad? Um, this one. Why is it bad? It's, it's bulging and it doesn't feel right. It's spongy, isn't it? It's spongy. But look at the other battery and it says bad. Bad. Yeah. A battery doesn't have to be bulging to be bad. The bulging is some kind of gassy leak in the cell inside the battery. Um, and some people still fly these batteries. We do not. I use that for a teaching. But, but this one has a bad cell inside of it. And we can tell with the voltage meter. Uh, we're not going to do that today, but the important thing is we cannot trust that our battery is good just by looking at it and feeling it. That's not an assessment tool. The way we assess our batteries for, for use, and this battery has been previously charged, is by attaching the balance lead. This is the power lead that charges, but this balance lead also is used to charge. We attach the balance lead with the black wire to the symbol that says negative. So what I'd like you to do is take the meter and put the balance lead, the black wire, into that negative mark. Okay, so. All righty. All right, so it has a reading on it and there's a mode switch. If you press the mode switch one time, it tells us it's 12.57 volts. Now this is an 11 0.1 nominally charged three cell battery. Each cell has 3.7 volts. 3.7 times 3 is 11.1. So we don't ever fly this battery below 11.1. As a matter of fact, we try never to fly it be below one tenth of every cell, so that'd be 11.4. It's at 12.56 right now, and that is 113% above the nominal charge. And that's true pretty much with all LiPo batteries is they get charged up 113% and we fly them down to about 1% above nominal charge. And that's the best way to keep a battery like this, which should give us about 120 flights. Uh, that's the best way to keep it safe and sound. That's the best way to preserve a battery. If you press it again, the mode switch, it's going to tell us the high voltage on one cell is 4.19. Press it again. The low voltage on another cell is 4.18. And then the, let's press it again. The split between the two is 0 0.003. As soon as we see a battery read 0 0.05, we start watching that battery carefully. And we know that the battery is degrading. And we'll take it out of service once we notice one cell is not working properly. But you could push the cell button three times and see that all three cells are reading the same. That battery is good, OK? Okay. Good job. Well, then we know that battery is good to go. We know we can go ahead and put it in the aircraft. In order to do that, I'm going to flip the aircraft upside down where the battery pack belongs. And I'm going to keep the tail of the airplane off the table. We don't want to hit the, the tail on the table. We'll open the battery door here and pull the lead out. All right. And then there's Velcro straps that we can just lay the battery in. So we'll go ahead and lay the battery in there. Lay it in. Yeah. Very good. And we'll put those Velcro straps back on it. We call them diaper pins. This is not the only mechanism to hold the battery in place, but it is one of the many. You're doing the right thing. You're pushing the battery lead down into a nice quiet space because it doesn't get used in the operations. Now before we work on the battery lead, what's the one thing I told you is redundant. We're going to do it over and over again. Power switch. That's right. Check your power switch, make sure it's off. The power switch is off. Right. And now a really critical important thing to remember is 
This battery lead is keyed. It's flat on one side and round on the other. Therefore, it's very important that you key it in correctly. If you switch it and put round to flat and flat to round, you'll get shocked and you'll get shocked badly and you'll hurt the motor. So go ahead and put those two together, making sure that the two keyed surfaces are together. Okay. Very good. And listen for the tone. Push hard. That's right. That's our aircraft recognizing the battery. If we ever have trouble pushing those leads together, we have a tool that we can use to crimp and push. Mm -hmm. uh, but you have a nice tight fit there. I can see no gap. That's exactly what we want. We'll let tools do the hard work that we sometimes can't achieve. Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead and push the battery lead down. Press the door closed. Very good. And there you are. The battery pack is in and the aircraft is ready to power up for flight.